hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for the likes and the comments and everything so if you're like me then you're probably wondering how the nigerian admission system works and how you can actually leverage it to secure admission this very year no matter what your jump score is so with that being said i'm going to do a video on this which is this video you're watching right now it's going to be all about how the admission process in nigeria works and how you can take advantage of it and secure admission and not wait another year to get it to school so with that being said let's get into the video so starting up with number one the first thing you should do is to pick a university and there are so many things that can influence your choice such as your financial standing the standard of the university academically and sometimes it might not be anything big it might just be like you like the university your friends wanting to go to a particular school and you also wanted to go to that school whatever your reason you should also keep two public universities at least two private universities in your heart in the jam slip you are going to fill in one public university one private university one college of education and one polytechnic this is your jam list but you can always do change of institution and there are other criteria that are very important that i'll get into later on that will can affect or change your choice of university polytechnic or any other thing so that will bring me to the next point knowing your subject combination for jam for the required school and knowing the cutoff mark for your course that you want to study depending on your course each school has a cutoff mark and a subject combination and if you don't have up to the cutoff mark or subject combination job subject combination for that school it might affect your admission so as your first choice university you should really look at what the subject combination is and if you've already written jam and you already made that mistake i think the most reliable thing to do is to change your course of study so pick another course of study that aligns to your subject combination because that subject combination is going to be very important in deciding your admission especially when it's a public school or changing your university to one that accepts your jump score So the next thing you should know is the time the application is going to open for your particular school. I'm pretty sure they will put it on the website of the school but I think it will be good if you know someone in the school that can actually tell you the particular date or if the application is open in case of any minor inconsistency in information discharge. You can be up to date with the application opening and when you find out that the application is open please 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 immediately purchase your application form do not procrastinate and do not delay so whether it's a public school or private school the demand for admission is become like all-time high actually if you don't apply on time you're not likely to get the admission or get into the particular course you want to study because it might be already when that's done you have your post CTME and I would like to say that your post CTME is going to be similar to your JAM subject combination so similar to the subject that you write in JAM but it's not going to be JAM questions or JAM looking questions so a post CTME is kind of on its own level so for ctm questions differ very much per university so if you want to get into a university the best thing to do is to get the post ctme past questions online there are vendors that sell them or if you know somebody that can help you with it then that's also very good post ctme can either be virtual or in person depending on your university so i think for public school it has to be interesting unless it has changed 
and for private school it can be both virtual and in person depending on your location so i actually wrote my own virtually online of course i'm in redeemers university so that's private school so i wrote online and there were people that wrote in person and the people that wrote in person they got they wrote it like july i wrote it august august 4th okay, that's why you have to apply early i think admission is kind of on a bowling basis so first come first serve so if you don't apply early people that applied late they didn't have any placement for the course that they wanted to study like nursing they didn't have placement for nursing because it was totally occupied by the time of the virtual examination so you will get an option on when to take your exam they'll give you different dates and it's best to pick the earliest dates do not waste any time at all to do that and then just practice I feel like the questions were quite normal yeah just know your material and I think you'll be able to do it it's if you can get the past question to be all right if you can't just practice your work and your jam random questions of the course you're going to write I don't know if this part applies to public universities but there is going to be an interview and ours was online so the interview is going to be virtual and it wasn't anything special they asked for your name and I think if you have been in a relationship or something like that so it's just normal and you just have to answer right and I don't think there's anything really hard about the interview so after this you'll be given your admission hopefully so your name will come out on the list or you can just check the jump portal if you've been get, given admission well there wasn't any speculated time that they gave for the admission to come out but I'm thinking like it came out two weeks later for my university so just keep checking and immediately your admission comes out please do not waste any time in paying your admission fees because that is one way you can secure your admission and make sure you don't lose it apart from the course you register with in jam you'll be given option to pick other courses so i am studying computer science and i was given the opportunity to pick cyber security computer science or information technology so i picked computer science and cyber security as my second choice yeah i was fortunate to get into computer science but like if you do not meet up with the post etm cut off mark and they will calculate the mark with your work your jump and your post etm scores so it's kind of like an aggregate there's a way a system of calculating it and if you get above the stipulated score you will be given admission to either your first choice or your second choice so yeah that's it about the admission process of nigerian universities i know there's a lot of things i didn't really get into but if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and i'll try to find out more and get the details and give it back to you guys in another video and if you want to see that video make sure you subscribe like this video and share it to somebody that might be in the same boat as you thank you for watching this video and also good luck in your admissions i hope you get into the school you want to and also the course you want to fighting bye